I say it time and time and again, summer fashion is just not my personal favorite. However, with these top seven trends right here, I think I'm gonna start kind of like summer fashion just a little bit more. What is up you guys, Stevie here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I wanna share with you guys these top seven trends that I have been seeing all over the place lately. I've seen these trends successfully styled. I see them from the more affordable brands all the way up into the designer brands. I see companies kind of implementing these particular trends when it comes to styling, the style of pieces, and just these kind of vibes across the board. These kind of trends have definitely got me inspired and got me excited for summer fashion. As always, I'll walk you guys through each trend. I'll talk about how I personally would style it, why I like these trends so much, where you can get these pieces from. And overall, if you just like my style and you kind of want to switch it up for the summertime, this video right here is definitely for you. Links to everything mentioned, worn, and all that good stuff will be in the description box down below. All right, so intro out of the way, enough rambling, grab a snack, grab a drink, and just kind of relax me for a bit. And let's dive into these top seven men's fashion trends for this summer season. Kicking Me's outfit trend number one, something that I have been seeing heavy lately is unique shorts slash jorts. Yes, you heard me say it right, jorts fam. Jean shorts, unique shorts, cargo shorts, nylon shorts, basically any type of shorts that's just a little bit more unique, whether again, it's a cargo style, it has a lot of over-exaggerated pockets, maybe it's a different cut, it kind of leans a little bit more towards the longer side, it's a different material, a more unique color, or it is a jean short slash jorts. You guys already know how I feel about shorts. I feel like it's one of those things that's very tricky to style and it's really tricky to find really nice pair of shorts. The type of shorts that you're seeing on the screen and the ones that I'm personally recommending the more unique stuff the more modern silhouettes the more just elevated use of materials and fabrics when it comes to shorts those are the kind of shorts that i want to highlight and those are the kind of shorts that i feel like is trending for this summer season i can see myself just wearing a super simple basic tee with any of these shorts a really nice sneaker a hat a crossbody bag and some shades and i'm good to go if i wanted to dress up the shorts a little bit more i probably would opt for an oversized button up keep it open face kind of button it all the way down and then have a really nice ribbed tank top underneath with the shorts and then of course repeat that same outfit recipe with the sneakers chunky socks hat shades crossbody bag and you are good to go you can really have some fun with these pieces right here without breaking the bank and so of course i will leave my favorites in the description box down below so check that out if you're interested but yeah, trend number one, we're starting off strong, unique shorts slash jorts. I never thought in the years on years on years that I've been doing YouTube that I would be recommending fucking jorts, but here we are. So don't knock it till you try it. And as always, it's just a trend. Let's just have some fun with it. It's not that serious. So this next trend right here, we're talking about crochet shirts slash knitted shirts. I've said it in so many other of my recent videos. I hate this trend right here, but I don't know if these brands have been watching my videos or I mean, I, it's definitely not that, but the reason why I used to hate this trend is because I just feel like it was never done right. And now I see so many brands, brands like Illicit Block, About Blank, even brands like Abercrombie, they are coming out with proper, well-made, really nice designed crochet knit style shirts like you're seeing on the screen right now. I love a crochet shirt that offers just something a little bit more different than the traditional like tan option, whether it's like a checkerboard style, it has more of like a contrasting color or stitch pattern, they're using kind of different collar variations. They kind of switch it up with the silhouette in terms of the fit. If it fits a little bit more oversized, if it's styled with something underneath. It was giving very much so like Coachella vibes when that trend first kind of came around. And I've seen a few people done it right, but for the most part, it just never landed for me personally. And so now that I've been seeing these new iterations of this trend, specifically the one from Illicit Block, they haven't dropped it yet, but um, I will leave their kind of Instagram and their website linked down below. So when it does drop, Highly recommend that one right there. That one right there definitely kind of re-sparked my interest for this trend and got me rethinking like, oh, you know what? Maybe maybe the crochet shirt slash knit shirt could definitely be a banger. I can see myself styling this up with just a really nice pair of crop trousers, nice ribbed tank top underneath, keep the shirt open face. I like it a little bit more oversized so you can kind of see that visual interest with the flow. Nice hat, really, really low, some shades, and then a really nice pair of sneakers. I would do some low cut socks so that you can kind of get the open chest moment from your unbuttoned shirt and then you kind of match like the skin on skin with your open ankle with the low socks. That's personally how I would do it. So shout out to these brands. They're definitely coming in hot for the summertime. And let me know in the comments if you guys feel the same way about crochet shirts or if I'm just tripping, let me know what you guys think. 
I already know I'm gonna get some heat for this, but I don't give a shit. Let's talk about leather pieces for the summertime. So I know that obviously it's the summertime, it's hot and it's super impractical to wear leather during the summertime. I'm not saying you have to wear a all leather suit, like a leather blazer, a leather shirt, a leather trouser, a leather shoes, leather bag, leather hat. Not talking about that in terms of leather for the summertime. I'm talking about sprinkling in leather pieces into your summer fits to kind of get that really nice elevated look and feel when it comes to your outfits. For example, there there is a couple pieces from Cole Buxton that I just absolutely love. The leather shorts, I feel like is a really great example. I'm thinking that maybe styled with just a really light kind of white long sleeve, similar to how they did it with some sneakers underneath and then just a really nice low profile cap or kind of just even implementing leather loafers, leather bags, any sort of leather accessory, maybe even like a leather hat of some sort. I feel like leather is kind of one of those materials that obviously you don't necessarily think about it during the summertime. I don't know, I had this strong feeling that that's what it, that's what it is for the summertime and that's what it's gonna be. Again, just little touches of this, of leather with it, within your summer outfit. So maybe white rib tank top underneath, some light colored crop trousers, a really nice pair of sneakers, a light colored hat, and then maybe during the nighttime you're wearing a super oversized leather bomber jacket. I just picked one up from Zara that I really like that I'll show you guys when I do get it in. But just stuff like that. It's all about the styling. And again, I'm not referring to wearing all leather for the summertime. I don't want you guys to be drowning in your sweat. I'm more so just saying thinking outside of the box for the summertime having a little bit more fun with it and gravitating towards things that you wouldn't necessarily wear so that at least for us fellas we have more variation and we have more fun in the outfits that we're putting together for the summertime so it's just not it's just not kind of giving repetitiveness all the time this next trend right here is something that i personally don't think that i'm ever going to style and i Loki, don't think I ever could, but I love, love, love seeing it on other people. Let's talk about neckties slash bandanas styled as an accessory for the summertime. So I've been seeing a lot of brands using kind of like a, just a standard bandana tied around their neck or even like a handkerchief um, on like one of the belt loops on like a shorts or like a pair of crop trousers or even something as simple as like a tied bandana slash necktie kind of draped over a crossbody bag. Just kind of adding that little touch to your details for the summertime is just such a nice little flex for me. I personally feel like this trend is a little too, I don't necessarily know what the word is, but I just feel like it's a little too something for me. I'm gonna have to marinate on what the word is, but even though it's not necessarily a trend that I will be styling personally, it has me inspired. It has me just really kind of thinking differently when it comes to using and implementing these types of accessories into my outfits. So regardless if I might not necessarily wear it around my neck, I could be open to wearing it on my bag, on my shorts, on my trousers. I just love kind of seeing how these brands nowadays are interpreting this trend and using it in their styling campaigns. I love how it kind of just adds this nice like effortless, almost like dressy like finish to a basic tee with some crop trousers and some sneakers and a hat. I feel like that nice little like handkerchief like esque bandana moment around the neck is such a flex. I feel like when you kind of find the right one, it could definitely be a banger. Few more trends to talk about for the summertime. Let's go ahead and speak to loafers slash mock slash derby style shoes for the summertime. Sneakers obviously forever and always will have a moment, specifically for me personally. I'm a comfort guy through and through. I love me a good sneaker. I love me a good little casual flex. However, the thing that I kind of keep repeating and the thing that I kind of keep driving home is a lot of the times for the summertime, specifically for us guys, we're really limited to the kind of silhouettes that we can play with. So it's all about kind of upping your accessory game or your footwear game. And so implementing loafers or mock toe derby style shoes for the summertime is something I've been seeing heavy lately. And I love seeing everyone kind of doing this trend differently to their own taste. Me personally, I have a few brands that I always gravitate towards when it comes to loafers. I just picked one up from acne studios that i literally just filmed something about it and they fit so perfectly so i'm really excited to share with you guys some outfit vibes when i do shoot that i love how you can kind of wear a really basic tee tucked into some trousers no show ankle socks and then just kind of have the loafer or leather shoe do all the talking it really elevates your overall look and it kind of brings this nice refinement to your overall summer outfit that you wouldn't necessarily would be able to achieve with just a standard sneaker let's say you're going to somewhere at nighttime and you want to kind of elevate your outfit just a little bit 
bit. I feel like there is a big difference between wearing a basic tee, crop trousers, and sneakers, and a hat versus basic tee, crop trousers, loafers, and a hat. Overall, just brings that outfit from here to here, and I will be sure to leave links to my favorites in the description box down below. I would definitely recommend checking out the Acne Studios one that I purchased because I feel like I've been doing my research, and even though I do have a few brands that I always go to for these types of shoes, that Acne Studios one is chef's kiss it's so good so check it out and definitely if you have some extra money lying around buy it before it sells out i think it's on sale right now at least i got it on sale so i'll leave a link down below for you guys to check that out this next one right here is something i'm super excited about let's talk about rib tank top slash wife pleaser slash wearing tank tops as an actual base layer for an outfit i kind of love this vibe that we're in right now where everyone is just kind of dressing up a tank top and kind of wearing it and throwing it into a outfit to kind of come through with an actual casual flex i love it just think a really nice high quality thick rib tank top either white or black for me personally tucked into some light colored trousers a pair of loafers and a hat and some shades and you are good to go you can even kind of style up rib tank tops underneath things so as i mentioned the crochet shirt or even just an oversized button-up shirt of any sort with some shorts as a sneakers or you know if you kind of wanted to dress it up even more you could do the rib tank top over that with a really nice like lightweight linen blazer and then a matching coordinating blazer short and then a sneaker or a loafer i think for me the tip when it comes to wearing tank tops for the summertime is it has to either be ribbed which you guys are seeing in the examples right now or it has to just be of a higher quality. For me personally, I'm not gonna go to Walmart and get like, you know, the Hanes ones. Those are great for like staying at home and stuff. But if you wanna wear a tank top out and you wanna kinda come through with that really nice elevated look and feel, the quality of the actual base layer tank top in which we're talking about has to be fire. It has to be quality and has to be nice and thick because you can kind of see it. It'll read just differently if it's of high quality. So I will leave links to my favorites down below. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about the whole trend of wearing like wife pleasers, uh, rib tank tops and all that stuff with like a belt crop trousers and like loafers. Let me know if you if you guys are liking that look or if you're like, I don't like that. Let me know what your thoughts are about this trend and just all the other trends that I've been speaking to lately. My last and final trend that I have been seeing so much lately that I personally will be implementing and I just bought something to play with this trend. Let's talk about bold logo tees. My personal outfit recipe always and forever during the summertime is always going to be a high quality basic tee of some sort, crop trousers, no show stocks, and sneakers, and a hat, and shades, and maybe a bag, a diaper bag now that I'm a dad but you guys get the point. On the days that I kind of want that said outfit recipe to kind of come through with just something a little bit more, I want to elevate it and I just kind of want to be maybe on my more bolder flex, I will always opt for a bold logo tee. I just picked one up from Jill Sander. It literally just says Jill Sander straight across the chest, really nice, big and bold. I'm thinking that with a pair of light colored trousers, maybe a darker shoe to kind of bring back the color from the tee and then a lighter hat. So I'm kind of like sandwiching my colors. And when I say bold logo tees, bold logos is subjective and it's different to everyone so you know the joe sander one that i referred to that's pretty big and bold at least for me but if you kind of want just a logo to you can offer something that has like a little mini little embroidery on the chest or it could even have like a little detail like kind of i don't know towards the back or something just anything that has something on the tee so it's not just a basic kind of basic tee is what I'm talking about. I'm gonna kind of give you an example. I really do feel like there's a difference between wearing a plain black tee, trousers, sneakers, hat, shades, versus wearing a bold logo black tee, trousers, sneakers, hat, shades. If you wanna switch it up, if you wanna have a little bit more fun, and of course, if you wanna show love to your favorite brands, that is the most easiest way to do it. And nine out of 10 times, the most affordable thing that you can get from a brand is a t-shirt. So my top tip when it comes to that, of course, is if you're going to invest in a t-shirt from a brand, just make sure that the quality is good, make sure it's nice and thick to kind of you know solidify and to kind of make sure that that price, higher price point is worth it. The Joe Sander one that I got is nice and thick. There are some other brands that I really like. The Acne Studios one with just like the minimal logo right here is really nice. And there's a couple of from like Ami Paris that I really like with a nice little embroidery of the heart. They have like a small one and then they also have like a big one uh, in the chest. I'll leave links to my favorites down below. Overall, if you're just kind of getting tired of wearing basic tees and you kind of want to, you know, come through with that casual flex, with that brand moment, with that logo moment, bold logo tees for the summertime, 10 out of 10, highly recommend.
All right, you guys, and that is it for my top seven must try slash must check out summer fashion trends for this season. And I'm excited to kind of share with you guys more summer content as the season goes on. If you enjoyed this video, if you got some context out of it, if you got some inspo, definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content like this, and do me a favor and drop me some love in the comments down below. Let me know what you thought about the video. Let me know what your personal favorite summer men's fashion trends are. Let me know if you have any recommendations for either me or just like the people in the comments. I see you guys kind of like conversing with each other down there. So definitely like, of course, help each other out. Check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to go ahead and organize these clips, lay it down in Final Cut, chop it up real quick, get it over to you guys so you guys can see it and you can take it for what it is for the summer season. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.